morning everybody. <laughs> we are snuggled in. I got a monkey in my lap, so I got Princess Harley over here. Those two were so cute last night. I took some pictures. They were butt to butt. They were snuggling up next to each other. It was so sweet. So let's see what today is in store. I'm so excited. Today is the last day of the month. Oh my goodness. So today, Thursday, Thirsty Thursday, um, September 30th, your homework assignment is to read Matthew 6, verses 1 through 15, another big assignment, and Psalms 86, 1 through 7. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Matthew 6, verses 1. Keep it secret. Keeping secrets is hard. And you know, one person in my life that I knew always kept a secret was Joe Wagner. She took everything to her grave. There's no doubt in my mind. That woman was something else. She was something else and she was like a mom to me. She never understood my mother. What's there to understand? It's all about your choices. But anyway, she was she was a doll. She was I was like her daughter that she never had, no doubt. Wouldn't you agree, Irene? Anywho, keeping secrets. I'm good at that. Just like my clients would tell me stories. I may not remember their names. But I remember the stories because they were fantastic and I could share them with the world because their names weren't attached. And some people thought I was being inconsiderate, but we all talked about that. They told my stories and I told theirs. That's what made my practice so different from the rest. And that's why everybody in town knew about Natalie. They knew about my impeccable intelligence. And they knew my work was golden because I did it with his guidance every time with truth. So, despite what you've heard, yeah, just push them aside because if you've met me, you know me. You felt my heart, and you know I'm honest. So it doesn't matter what others say because they're just trying to put themselves up on a pedestal. And you can't get to a pedestal when you hurt other people to get there. Now can you? Nope. That toxic negativity needs to go right back where it belongs. And I don't live there. I choose to live here and I'll be heading there when he calls me home when I've done my duty here. So, I'll keep beating the pavement all day long and I don't care if you get in my way and you are a thorn in my side well I'm gonna pluck it out and flick it to the curb take out the trash just like I did the other day and delivered it to the home of that human that brought all kinds of nonsense into my beautiful loving filled with Jesus home I'll show you down the road what said human did not yet though if you have ever tried to organize a surprise party for someone you know how difficult it can be be to make arrangements without someone spilling the beans to the honoree funny my 50th birthday people said well we would have liked to throw in your birthday party but you can't surprise Natalie because you can't lie to me because I know so I threw my own birthday party. Whether that was true or not, from the friends that told me that, I don't care. I had a great 50th birthday party. And everyone since then has been even better. So this year's going to be the best one of all. Stay tuned. Keeping the cat in the bag about good works is difficult too. But Christ asks us to keep our good work secret. We are supposed to help people in need, but they shouldn't 
know that we are the providers of the assistance. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that is that can be true with anonymous things, but when people come directly to you for help, how are they not gonna know that? Or if they know of someone in need and know that you have helped other people and they come specifically to you to help and then want them to talk to you so that they can personally thank you. There's so much interpretation that I feel has been misinterpreted with the Bible. And that's my own personal opinion. Take it or leave it. Your choice. But I just think that there's a lot of takeaways with the Bible that get misinterpreted. Big time. But again, that's my own opinion. It's your choice to believe or not. Likewise, when we pray, we should do so in private, too. Well, we all do it at church. We all do it together. So, do we really need to do it in private? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes there's some personal stuff that we don't want to put out there for everybody to hear. But for me, I've never been that way. I've always been transparent. And some people think I overshare. Well, that's just who I am. Completely transparent, inside and out. All I do is shine my bright light and give my heart to everyone. That's a gift he gave me. It should also be brief. Christ provided what we know as the Lord's Prayer as a model. The prayer is recorded in Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13, has only 52 words, but those words say everything necessary. Hannah Grace, loose. Come here, baby. Come on. We're almost done. Come here. We gotta go feed the birds, I know. They're waiting. The act of prayer demonstrates our belief in Christ as our Savior and light of the world. Christ already knows what we need before we come to Him in prayer. That's for sure. We are not to practice our righteousness to show off to others, either in helping the needy or when we pray. Jesus did all the time. He showed us everything he's done and you know when you do stuff like that you don't expect recognition you don't care you just do it because that's what he wants that's God's way it's not about what we do for others though works or prayer that saves us it is about believing that Christ died for us that saves us Heavenly Father in the name of my Savior Jesus, I lift up my soul to you for your forgiveness. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, keep it secret. Well, there are certain things you keep secret, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not keeping my, my faith secret. I have it my entire life. Anyone that has ever come into my path knows I have a strong, faith background may not have always been listening but it was always there and nobody ever disrespected me about my faith not ever so as I continue to learn about religions hopefully I don't step on anybody's toes because of things that I was misinformed at um, hopefully I've rectified anything that I may have said that I was misinformed and now I know the truth. Thank the Lord, Pastor Buck is well versed in all of the religions because he focused on all those. So anytime I have any questions, I can go to him and then he can give me source materials to confirm it all. And, you know, power is learning. And if you don't use it, you lose it. So, mine was already damaged up here on this side, so I keep learning every day to help erase, if that's even possible, that little bit of damage that was done in my brain from those blood clots. So, talk about a blessing. So, feast on his word today and spread unconditional love and kindness wherever you go. Hope you enjoyed our video. Have a great Thursday. And uh, make a day.
that you remember. Leave a lasting impression on someone. Or just say a kind word. Or buy them a cup of coffee. Or just give them a big hug. Hugs are so important. And Hannah knows too well because everybody she meets, she wants to give them a big fat hug. And it's as sweet as sugar. So, have a great Thursday. See you tomorrow. Bye.